Hello everyone. Sorry for the delay. I was trying to figure out how to do live video and it's been a week and I've forgotten already, I guess. Anyway, um, I've been doing some, uh, yesterday, I was trying to figure out something to make uh, for some friends for Mother's Day gifts. And um, so I was in our catalog and uh, this is, for those who are demonstrators or hobbyists, this is our uh, January to June mini catalog. And uh, so you can see it, I think. Anyway, I was browsing through it looking for something. I'll turn it around this way, which will be upside down. Uh, but uh, I was going through the catalog and I saw this cute little bag, beach bag. And um, I was like, oh, we live near the beach. So I was like, that's cute. And uh, I had bought the uh, the sets for the dress to impress and the die set. And uh, I've done more with it than I thought that I would do, but I had not made a little bag. So I thought, Okay, let me try to figure out how to make that one. So uh, that's on page 65. And uh, I'll show you what I have done, if I could find it. I've got so many cards in here. I can find it here. I did some, <laughs> you crazy, this is crazy. So many cards, uh, beside that box. But anyway, I was doing some uh, cards. And, uh, but I was using it for the card. I was doing suspender cards and I can't find the card right now. So that's okay. Anyway, so, uh, but I wanted to talk to you about this little bag. So this is what I came with, up with, which is very similar to uh, what they have. Almost exactly, probably. This one, as you'll notice, is not embossed. My husband told me after I did it. He said, you forgot to emboss it. But uh, anyway, but I... It kind of looks cool. You can see the design a little bit better when not embossed. But anyway, so you can see that it's not very big. It's about, it's about four and three quarters inches by about three and a quarter. So it's about three and, yeah, about three and three quarters tall. And then uh, with these little uh, pieces, of ribbon, it just takes it a little bit taller. So uh, I, we were able to put like two bad lids and uh, a tea bag in here, but you could probably put a few more, you could put some candy or whatever, or it would be a great little party favor or, you know, whatever, uh, you know, for weddings or uh, anything really, uh, kids parties or, you know, a little party. Anyway, that's what we're gonna make today is this. And so I uh, wanted to, show you what we need. So I'm using colors from, I usually buy the Subtles, I buy the Subtle Collection and um, I use, with, at the beginning I would buy the um, the 20 sheet pack, which has two of each color because when I started last fall, I wasn't sure, you know, what colors I liked or whatever. So I wanted to get those. So that's, I buy those um, um, a lot. So anyway, so I'm gonna use colors from, from that collection. We're gonna do Highland Heather, which is what this one is. And then we're gonna do Calypso Coral, but uh, I've done them in other colors. I just don't have them, I've given them away. Uh, so that's that's that. So that's where that comes from. It's on page 163 of the current catalog, Head Ducks. We can't order uh, from the, we can't order all this stuff from the new catalog yet. So anyway, so that's that. Uh, anyway, so I, I, I like to have notes because I get a little scattered. Uh, sometimes. So I, it's a beach bag. And so what do we need for it? So we need the all dressed up dies, which is 151665. And we need the handbag die, um, which looks like this, if you have it. And uh, the buckle dies, which are in here. And they're on tape because, oh my goodness, they disappear. I was spent all over my studio this morning. Uh, tried to find them because I made a bunch yesterday. So this is what they look like when they come out. This is, of course, with the copper. But uh, anyway, so you need you need four of these to make one bag, and you need two of these to make one bag. Okay. So um, so then from the cling stamps, which is the tro uh, tropical, the timeless tropical, uh, we're gonna use the palm tree, which is right here, and then we're gonna use the rest and relax. You deserve it. And of course I use Mother's Day for the one I made I made before, but you could use, I did some with this image as well. You could use pineapple, you could use any of these if you wanted to. You could also cut them out and, and put them on if you like to fussy cut or whatever. So that's the 
plain grannies for that. And then the embossing folder that we're gonna use is the Coastal Weave, which I love. So that's the Coastal Weave, we're using that one. And uh, these are the color dyes we're using, Calypso Coral and Highland Heather. So uh, this is the stamp, I have it already. <sighs> kind of odd by stamp thing, I love this one. And then this is the, uh, this is the, the ribbon that I'm using. It's called Braided Burlap Trim, and I meant to check to see if it was in the new catalog, because I just got it yesterday, but it slipped my mind, so I didn't check. But anyway, this one is um, 151254, and it's got like, t what is it, 10 yards. So it's it's really a lot out here, so I like this one I've used. And um, let's see, oh, here's the other. Well, re relax to relax. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. I did. What else was I gonna do? That's that. Cardstock for the subtles. Highland Heather, Clips of Coral. And the Highland Heather is 146986, and the Clips of Coral, this is for the paper, is um, 122925 if you want to order it separately. And then, um, so you stamp the design on them. So let's see the order. We'll do it. Okay. So, first of all, I showed you the other one, and then I'm going to. So what I did was, this is the size of the handbag. So you could take this handbag, what? I just showed you what you're seeing. Oh, could you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Uh, this is the size, I cut this piece of paper as the size of the handbag because, I don't know about you, but I like to say by paper. So five and a half, five by five and a half inches. It takes a whole, uh, whole sheet of paper to do it, but uh, but you have lots left over, which is nice. So you can see um, that I put it really close on there. And then I just use uh, washi tape to hold it down and then cut it out. So I'm not going to cut one out for you because I've already cut them out because it wobbles so much when I try to do it on camera. But anyway, so we need two of these, okay? So the handbag is five by five and a half for this piece. So you got two of those. And then we need two sets of the buckle dies. So the buckle dies... Uh, cub, when you cut them out, this their one set cuts out two, and so you just have and you get two, you get two different sets. You could just cut them all out to save time. And uh, I use copper just because I liked it. And the ribbon handles uh, with this ribbon is I cut six inches, and um, and you need two of them, so that's kind of I put that down for that. Uh, okay, so I went ahead. And you can see I stamped everything on here, and then after I stamped my design on, uh, so you just stamp it across, okay? So you don't, at first I was like, okay, well, this might be upside down, but it, trust me, it's not upside down. As you can see here, it's there. Looks really cool. Anyway, you can see it more on the embossed. So anyway, so this one's been embossed, and, uh, and this one's embossed as well. And then I went ahead and stamped this out, and I haven't cut it out yet. So what I thought I would do is show you how I stamped these and uh, out here. And then, and then we'll assemble that other one because that'll be kind of fun to do. So I'll do these. We get fun. So I stamp it the same color as you know how that works. Yeah, it still shows up, which is always amazing to me. Or some, someone said, oh, you could stamp it the same color as the paper. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah. So I like the palm trees. So I usually try to put the palm tree. I hope you can see this. Can you see it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I stamp it in here. Okay. Like that. Make sure you can see it. And then I stamp over here. I like to get my clean mat always gets so dirty. I start out clean anyway. At least when I want camera. And then there's that. It doesn't want to move. I have no fingernails. Okay. We'll do this one. Especially with this COVID stuff going on. Nervous. Well, watch the news. Ooh. So we're having fun today. We're not we're gonna pretend that there's no news. I'm gonna be out at the beach. Tropical. I love I love I just love the idea of being a beach bag. It's just so cool to me. So anyway, clean up my stamp. So that's what these look like, okay? And then 
Uh, I'm going to put these aside because I'm not going to do anything else with them right now. And I'll go ahead and uh, try to assemble this for you on camera. Okay, so, which in itself is a feat to do. Okay, so you could see barely there's uh, there's little folds here. Okay, so I know where they're going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tear and tape on now. So you need tear and tape on this side of it. You need tear and tape on the little tab here. And then you need tear and tape on the back of this. Okay. And then on this one over here, you can do the same thing. Let me put the tear and tape here. And I've done it the other way where I put it together and then put the tear and tape on, but it's it's just easier to do it before you really get going. And then I put it here. I may have to put it there. We'll see. I won't do it yet. Okay, so I always burnish. I'm sure you do too. But especially with the uh, with the pattern, I try to burnish the edges of it a little bit. Okay. Because that way I make sure that it adheres really well. There we go. It's really cute. I, you know, I didn't know I never put one together. I used a half of one. I made a spinner card, so I just used half of the purse. Uh, so I did that. But there's, it's all perforated. There's these little perforations here. But you can do that. And then this one. This one. Goes together really easy. It'll you know, stamp it up. It's a wonderful job. And these could go out or in. It just depends what you want to do. This one, they kind of go in, uh, put them in. But if you have something that you need to put in there that's kind of fat, then you you can make them go out, like uh, putting a little bit more cookies or more treats or something in it. You can do that. Okay, so you can see this is half of it, right? Looks kind of cool. Okay, so then I would have fold this one. And, uh, first did this, you know, there's, there was no instructions. And I was like, okay, I need to call somebody. And then I was like, okay, I think, I, I'm not gonna give up. I think I could figure this out. All these little preparations. Like, I don't know, they kind of tedious. I like, I really like the, the beach bag idea. That's what I was, it really drew me to it. it was, oh, beach bag. Because I didn't buy this set right away. I was like, yeah, I don't really, have any young women in my life that, you know, I could, not enough that I could, you know, make a bunch of these things to give to people. And so I resisted getting it. And then I saw what people were making with it. And I was, then I had this idea that I would do like a spinner card and um, with it. And so I was like, okay, uh, I've been doing a lot of spinner cards. I, I just like that they, they're kind of cool. So I've been doing them. Okay, let's see if I could get this together now, Tony. Okay, this is going this way. Now, you can, if you want, put, in fact, I might do it here. This goes here, and then to put that one there. I'm going to put another piece of tear tape right there, because that way, I love tear tape. Does it? keeps things from going falling apart after you put them together. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing, I just did this a little while ago, but I'm telling you, every time I get ready to do something, I was like, what? How did I do that? I'm not a techie. When it comes to anything like this, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is stick this one down. So I have to find my little... There it is. Pull this off. I don't know, probably bore you to death, but uh, some people, you know, don't, I mean, they're like me. They don't know how to put things together. I, mean, shoot. I was never good at Christmas. 
Oh my goodness, putting things together. Oh, especially in the middle of the night when I was tired. No, no, no. Okay, so really what you have to think about is ugh, lighting them up. Okay, so it's not hard to do. It's just I'm not the best at simply, but it's going together, I think. Okay. So look at that. It's pretty good together. Okay, so that's pretty solid. It's not going to come apart. And then we take this one off. We'll put this one on. And then we're going to be like, oh my gosh, how did that come together so easily? Or you're like, he's having trouble. I could do this and nothing flat. So you just kind of look at your quarters, right? And I put, this is like my 11th or 12th one I put together in less than 24 hours. So you, well, actually my husband put these together. I did stuff and did he put them together. He's a lot more technical than I am. Like, uh, I need some help here. Okay, so let's see. Uh-uh. We're out here so I can do it. Okay, so you put that in there. Hold it, stick it out. That's why I use the tear and tape here because you know the glue. I mean, I I love uh, the white glue, the Tabo, the tab, Tabo, but uh, you'd have to hold it for too long. Okay, so it's coming together. Take this one off. You will be amazed how it, easy it is to do. I'm just not. I'm taking it extra careful so I don't do it wrong. A camera that would be horrible okay so say the seeps go together I mean these products are amazing aren't they I mean they just <clears throat> I mean they go together so easy easily I mean everything glides up where it's supposed to and I mean I mean I know we design our own boxes and stuff sometimes but this one just lights up just perfectly this one's a little this side I didn't get it quite right I don't think for some reason you won't be able to tell once I put the rivet on. Yeah, that was a little wonky right here. But anyway, forgive me for that. You don't do that on yours. Okay. So that one's done. Let's see, it stands up nicely. So you could push it in if you want, like that, right? Or you could push it out if you have a lot of fat gift you want to put in there. Anyway, that's that. So then the next part is just to put on these cute. You want something kind of stiff, otherwise it would be kind of weird. Uh, anyway, so coffee, coffee. So this, these all come from the all dressed up dies. And there's lots of little parts in here. I'm not going to open it, but there's lots of little pieces and parts that I usually put them in a plastic bag because they're like every time I open it, they go everywhere. But I showed you the parts that we're using. So anyway, uh, let's see. So this ribbon, I I cut six inch pieces. Let me see if I could do that where you could see it. I'll do it up here. Six inches. Okay. Scissors. There they are. Our snips are so sharp. Um, so then I just cut that. Cut two of them. This is really the hardest part for me because getting the tear and tape off of this rivet. Anyway, so that's that. But that ribbon is really, isn't it cool, braided? I love it. It looks just like a beach bag. It should look. Okay, so the, these little rascals in here, I put them in a cup because they, they tend to jump around and hide from me sometimes. So anyway, I tore my place apart looking for them. Aren't they cute? They're a little copper look. But you could do a bit gold or silver or whatever. I just like the copper because I have it. I had it out, so I used it. Close up my ink pad before dries the pieces okay so uh, so you just put it through here and then through here right so it looks like this is that cool and then you pull it down a little bit and you just sit there on the other side and trust me it works you can make it as long as you want, but I don't, because this kind of ribbon can unravel, so I don't, <clears throat> I'm not going to give it a chance to do that. So I put tear tape on the back to make sure that it holds 
the rivet too. Because, you know, nothing worse than a raggedy end on your pretty little bag that you do. Okay, so here's this. Okay. This. Okay. So now, that's the easy part. Um, tear and tape. Here we go. So I cut random pieces. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Come on. Get off. Oof. Goodness gracious. There we go. Then, uh, try to start here at the end. Put it odd so that it kind of protects that end from unraveling a little bit. And then, when you put it over top of this little buckle, that it'll keep the buckle from sliding off. And then I do this on this end too. You can make it longer if you want, but just to keep in mind, you don't want it to come above there because it'll be sticky all the time. So then it's just getting this rascal off. I get out of her fingernails, so I have to use these little pick tools. But they work good eventually. Okay. There's that one. And then this one. I'd want to make a hundred of them, but you know, simply lined stuff works really good. So, I if I once I design something uh, or do something, then so when I put these on, you see this little line here. That's what I try to make the top of the buckle be, right there. But you know, your bag, you can do it however you want. Is that cool? And then I like the stiffer ribbon because it's so I'll do the same thing here. See that little line? So then I just put it so that it's right. There. A buckle. This one's a little cockeyed, but I'm not taking it off. It'll be okay. Okay. So, I mean, it's just a treat bag, okay? We're not going to be carrying it to the store or anything. No, you know, it doesn't have to be fancy, fancy. It does, it does look really fun, though, I'm telling you. And, you know, I was thinking, my mind was going, but I was just making it, I was thinking, you know, these would be really cute for, uh, you know, for like a, a wedding shower or like a wedding party favor or just like a summer party favor, uh, a summer birthday, or, you know, just to like give a treat to a friend, uh, you know, make these to keep up and uh, birthday, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, birthday, you could make them and, uh, you know, put a little treat or if you were going to give somebody jewelry, you could put it in here. Uh, any kind of little gift also, or like a graduation, uh, you know, and then you could do, uh, you could do um, Christmas. I'm really thinking about doing a Christmas one. I just had people ask me about this. I thought, okay, I'll do it today uh, before. I haven't done a video in a week or so. I've been so congested, I haven't really felt like I could talk very much. It's been going on for months and months and months and months, but some days are better than others. My allergies, I say, <clears throat> because we've had such a season down here. When we lived in the mountains before, I had allergies, but not like this one. Not like here about no, eastern North Carolina. I have a right on the water, so it kind of, maybe it's just something like that. I have no idea. Anyway, so that's, this is how they stick. Is that cool? It's a cute, cute little bag. And again, you can squeeze it in more if you want to. It has like a little V here. And you really don't need to uh, mess with trying to fold that little V. It just kind of goes in on its own. Okay, so let's see which side looks the better. Okay, I'll do this one. And then uh, I think I stamped it. What did I do with it? Already I stamped it. I didn't stamp it. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Rest and relax. And you could do, you know, birthday or you could obviously do anything and then uh, I love this little, this stamp is one of my favorite ones. I love all of our stamps. So just center it. And sometimes I think it's pretty straight. Where's my clip though? So here it is. Okay. Close it back up. I like to put, 
I think it was my stamp pad was coming coming off this morning. I've never had that happen. I don't know what to do with that. Anyway, maybe somebody on the video could tell me. Uh, sometimes I like just to add a little color around the edges because it kind of makes it show up. Uh, it is the same color, but you know, sometimes I'll do, if I want it to look a little fancier, I'll use gold or something, but I, I just love the use of the same color. And you know, I don't know if you've noticed, but after a little while, the colors do like set in, like and initially they, they look maybe like they're lighter or whatever, but after, uh, after a little while, the colors do kind of uh, set in nicely on the uh, on the products when you actually do them. So I mean, the, the colors actually select so like the purple is a lot more vibrant after. So you can see one that's uh, embossed and one that's not. So the one that's not embossed was a mistake, but uh, it's a good mistake. Happy mistake, as you could say. Okay, now I have some. There it is. I have some of these little. Dotty doos, and I won't put the dimensionals on here because you know we have to pop everything up because it just looks better. Put three out here, and then right here. Now, if I'm giving it as a gift, uh, I will use like a, a little bag to put whatever is in, and then I'll tie more rivet on it. But I don't put extra rivet on these bags. Uh, but when I put it, whatever I put inside of it, I'll put it in a bag, and then I'll tie it with a rivet. And then uh, if I'm giving it to somebody uh, and I'm leaving it at their door or whatever, I'll put this down inside one of our other uh, bags for the stamp it up. And those are really nice. So anyway, if you have questions, send them to me uh, and I'll be happy to answer them. I thank you for sticking with me today. And um, I will uh, be posting the video uh, on to my YouTube channel and also on my uh, Riverview Creative Studio Facebook page and I'll put in those uh, directions and everything and I'll, I'll also do a blog entry for it so anyway I hope you have fun making these and uh, and we're gonna be thinking about happier times we could actually go to the beach with these little bags Thank you. all right well God bless and you guys have a good day all right bye bye